right, hiya, I'm Susan Pratt and we're in Finchdean, which is just uh, in Hampshire. Um, this is Darcy, the Labradoodle. Um, she is a Labrador cross with a poodle with a bit of border collie in her, um, which is where we get the male colouring from, which is quite unusual for uh, a Labradoodle. Um, today we're just going to do a, a normal pet trim on Darcy. Um, so we're going to clip her body and we're going to scissor her legs and her tail and then we'll show you how to do a nice pet trim for her face. We'll start with clipping out underneath her groin so she's nice and tidy. Yep. Good girl. So we'll take a seven blade under there and take that all out on the inside of her legs. Good girl. And just up into her tummy as well. And then we'll just take it down the inside of her back legs just to help stop this where they knot up quite easily. So just to take all that out, which helps the owner keep them nice and tidy. Good girl. Right, and then we'll also clip her armpits out as well, just to help stop her getting tangled up in between visits. Good girl. So again, using a seven blade, as it just helps stop them irritating underneath there. Good girl. Good girl. Just a rubber one. Right, so we're going to start with clipping Darcy. We're going to use our Arco clippers um, on the shortest setting, so on a 40 setting underneath, which is for that blade underneath, and then we pop the comb attachment on so that she's not too short, and that's about 10 mil, which is about the same as a 4F blade for your normal clippers. So we're going to start just from the back of her head, we're going to come straight down her body to the top of her tail. There we go. Good girl. So straight down her back. There we go. Good girl. So just to the base of her tail. And then we're going to take the clippers down over the back of her legs. So just down to a couple of inches above her hock and all that hair on the inside of her leg as well. And then we're going to run the clippers down the side of her leg. So over her hip. Good girl. And just run the clippers down and just blend them off into the front of her leg. Good girl. Then we're going to take it right down the side of her body. Uh, right through underneath. And then down the side of her, over her ribs, behind her, back, the back of her front leg. Good girl. Stand still. And right through underneath. So we're going to take all of that hair off underneath. So right down the side of her belly. And just run it off underneath. Good girl. And then we're just going to comb her back up just quickly, just to check and see if there's any stray hairs on what we've already clipped. Right, so we'll just re-clip back over what we've done. Take any stray hairs off. Good girl. Good girl. And then we're going to come down the side of her neck. So from just underneath the base of her ear, holding her ear out of the way. I'm going to take all that hair off, so down her neck, down the side of her neck, good girl. And then we're just going to run it just down into the top of her shoulder, good girl. And just round into the front of her shoulder as well, good girl. So just down into the top of her leg. Good 
Um, and then once we've done that, then we'll do along exactly the same on the other side. So we're going to come down her chest, so just from, just round where you can feel underneath her chin. So straight down. Good girl. Right down in between her front legs, all that comes off. Good girl. Good girl. going to use the same comb attachment for her head as we've used on her body um, but what you want to make sure you do is you don't clip too hard with the comb attachments you're just going to lightly run it over the top of her head so you're going to blend it down and get around the back of her head just from the back of her head just blend it down and into the back of her neck there we go then we're going to take the clippers over towards the front of her nose just lightly taking the ends off the top of her head straight over the top of her eyes, down into the top of her ears, and just behind her ears as well. Good girl. And same on the other side. Good girl. And that's just to take the worst of the hair off and then we'll come back and we'll scissor over the top of her head in a minute. We're gonna take all of this hair out underneath her ear this is where the owners don't brush, so where it gets matted. So you take the comb attachment just from the corner of her ear, straight down into the side of her neck. Good girl. And just holding her ear up, just take all that hair out underneath her ear. So when her ear's down, you won't be able to see it, but it stops the hair getting matted. And then we'll do the same on the other side. And then just take that hair out just underneath her chin, and just clip it round, just to, to blend in with where you've clipped underneath her ear. So the first thing we're going to do with her head is just comb the hair forwards. And we're just going to take our chunking scissors down the side of her face, just to blend in where we've clipped with the top of her head. So Darcy's got quite she's got a typical labradoodle hair that we see on most pet labradoodles so they hold this style really well obviously you will get some that have much more poodle coats um, and you can also get some with the wiry coats which won't take this style at all so you will have to tailor it to that particular dog um, those with the more poodle coats will look better in a more Bichon type head whereas these kind of style heads look really good on these kind of coats good girl so we're going to just trim all that underneath her ear blend it round and into the side of her face so that when we're looking at her from the front nothing's sticking out from over her ear or above her ear good girl good girl and just blend in where we've clipped over the top of her head and same down the other side and obviously you want to make sure when you look at her that both sides are even, so you don't want more one side than the other. Good girl. And just blend the top of her head back into the back of her neck. Good girl. So next we're just going to trim out the hair in between her eyes. You always want to make sure you can see their eyes. A, it's more healthy for them and the owners will always like to see their eyes as well. So just using your thinning scissors, just take the corners of that out the front of her eyes and just take your thinners up the bridge of their nose just to in between her eyes, just till it lays flat. Good girl. 
Then we're going to trim her over her fringe. So comb all her fringe forward towards the top of her nose. And we're going to go in a sort of semicircle from one corner of the eye round to the other corner of her eye. And again, you can use your chunkers or your thinners. Good girl. Just taking care not to catch this hair underneath her eyes when you trim it. Good girl. And if you just hold her head down when you trim it and go back round your semicircle. Good girl. Just to make sure that it's sitting right back up her eyes so that in a couple of weeks she can still see where she's going. I'm going to trim along the side of her face. So you're going to trim from up to where you've clipped from, from the front of her muzzle, round in half semicircle. So from here. Again, using your chunkers or your thinners to give them a more natural look. Good girl. Just trim the side of her beard right up to her ear. Good girl. Good girl. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. Once we've done both sides of her face, we're going to come around and do underneath her muzzle. So we're going to join up the two sides and take all of this chin hair off shorter. So straight across from where we've trimmed from here to here. Curving it up slightly. Good girl. Good girl. And Keep combing the hair forwards when you trim it, so you make sure you get all of that hair underneath. That's always a good idea as well to make sure they haven't got a neck strap on at this point. So you can make sure you get all of this hair under here. Good girl. And just check that there's nothing hanging down underneath. We'll check her from both sides. Yeah. So just go back just to where we've clipped. Just make sure that that's nice and short under there. Keeps inside their ears, helps keep inside their ears cleaner and stops them knotting up as well. The other side. Good girl. I'm just going to thin, thin out her muzzle as well. If it's not laying flat, you, if you just comb it out to the side, just take your thinning scissors and just snip in slightly just to make sure that it lays nice and flat. Good girl. just her ears to do now. Yeah, so we'll always put the neck strap on to keep her safe. Um, obviously when the table's higher, the last thing we want is for her to jump off. Um, and certainly when I'm holding on to her ears, the last thing I want is her pulling away. Um, plus it just helps keep her head up when we're trimming around her ears, which is obviously a lot safer for her. Always make sure that it's not too tight. So even when she stood up, stand up, good girl. When she's got her head up, it should always be quite a bit of slack. It's just there to keep her safe. It's not there to string her up. Good girl. Right, you can sit back down. Sit down. Good girl. So lastly, we're going to just trim her ears. So we're just going to make sure they're well combed out. 
just run your hands down to the bottom of her ears. Make sure you keep your finger over the edge of her ear so you don't cut her. And then holding them out straight, we're just going to trim the very ends off her ears. Good girl. Then holding her ear open, we're going to trim just round and up into the edge of her ear. Good girl. This will make it lay nice and flat then. And then hold it, making sure her head is straight when you trim the ears. Just go back and tidy up the bottoms. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And then obviously the same on the other ear. Right, so we've already done underneath her feet. Um, so the next thing you want to do is comb all her hair up. Now, the kind of hair she's got, it's not very poodly. So chunkers are great for this kind of coat because they cut without leaving too many marks. Um, you can use straight scissors, but if you've got chunkers, I'll definitely go for them for blending in most of her leg. So comb all the hair up. And we're going to use our chunkers to blend in round the top of her elbow. So we're going to start up here, just slowly work our way down round the back of her elbow. Good girl. Good girl. And you want her legs to look like nice columns. They should be nice and parallel when you're looking for them from them from the front and from the side. Good girl. Always make sure stand. Stand that they're stood nice and straight when you're trimming so that when they, when they move, their legs are still nice and straight. Otherwise, if they're stood with their legs out from underneath them, you won't get the right shape. Stand, good girl. Good girl. So we're just gonna blend in all the top of her leg. Then holding her leg up slightly, up the back of her leg. Good girl up to her elbow, stand, good girl, and you always want your legs, they should always be slightly shorter at the top than they are at the bottom, or exactly the same length, you never want the bottoms of their legs to be shorter than the top, and that avoids that ice cream cone shape, good girl, so all the way down the back of her leg, Then we're going to come round and down the side. Good girl. All the way down to the top of her feet. Good girl. Depending on, she's got about 12 weeks growth, so we don't, she doesn't need a huge amount of hair off. Um, it entirely depends on the dog um, and the owner as to how much they, hair they want left. Um, her owners are pretty good and obviously they keep her well brushed, so we can leave her legs quite a bit longer. Good girl. So once we've done the side and the back, we're going to come down the front. You always want to make sure when you're doing the front of their legs, that you don't dip in towards the toe. You shouldn't be able to see a foot. So the leg should always run straight down from the top of her leg, straight down to the top of her toes. Good girl. Always keep combing up and fluffing the hair out to check for any stray hairs. Good girl. You never want to comb down and trim. You always want to comb the hair up. Good girl. Good girl. 
And then we're going to do the inside of her leg. There we go. So holding her leg up. Just comb all that hair out. We're going to come in a straight line down from her elbow, just down to just almost to the top of her foot. Good girl. And just joining up with where we've trimmed around the back of her leg. Stay. Good girl. Stand. And then always check by holding the other leg up, coming round and checking the inside of their leg. Good girl. If they don't keep their legs still, the best thing you can do is to hold the other leg up, and that will always help. Um, most dogs, if they're stood on three legs, will stand still. So she'll just pop her weight onto that leg then, and that will stop her moving around. Good girl. Again, making sure she's stood nice and straight. Check her, ooh, check her from the front. So again, comb that hair up. Just make sure you can use your comb to check that she's level both sides. hair should always blend in from where you've clipped at the shoulder and drop down nicely you don't want any elbows that are sticking out so you just graduate it down depending on how long or how short the legs are going to be good girl and again checking from the side as well and then once we've done that with our chunkers and so you can use straights to do that if need be Stand. We're going to trim round her feet. Their feet should always be nice and round, and that's what's going to finish off the nice column-shaped legs at the front. Um, you don't, if you can avoid it, avoid showing the toenails. So straight round her feet. If they've got really long toenails or slightly odd-shaped feet, you can just expose the toenails if you need to. Stand. Go. So always combing it down towards the t towards the tip of her toes. Good girl. And nice right, right round, nice tight feet. Good girl. Same on the inside. And just holding her leg out of the way. Good girl. And then we're just going to use our straights just to trim down around the edges of her feet. Good girl. Down the back of her leg, just comb this hair down over the back of her pad and keeping your scissors straight with the back of her pad, just trim anything off that overhangs. Good girl. And you just want to curve just round the side of her leg and just curve it round and into her foot. Good girl. And then we'll just go over, once you fluff the hair back up, go back over and check for any stray hairs. Need another pair of scissors. <laughs> Good girl. 
So we'll comb back up her legs and just check down each side, down the front and down the back to make sure that her legs are nice and parallel. Good girl. Right, that's pretty much that leg done. Right, so where we've clipped to, we always leave a little bit of hair underneath, just especially when you've got a dog like this who's got quite long legs, just makes the dog look a little bit squarer, a little bit shorter. So we always leave a little bit of hair under here. Just take your straights along and just tidy the ends up. So, and just slightly angled down, just towards the top of her elbow as you come up to the front. combing out underneath and checking that there's no hairs hanging down. Good girl. And then if you just hold her leg up and just trim the hair underneath from her chest through and into her little skirt. styles of back legs you can either do a more poodle shaped leg which where you would fill in all the hair from the stifle right down to the tip of the toe most owners can't cope with that um, most owners will find that they just get matted and then they end up being clipped off so with most of our labradoodles we'll do a more terrier style leg which is where we take it in a little bit more above the toe and quite short down and around the hock which is much more practical for the owner um, and stops them getting so matted so first we're just going to comb all our hair up we're just going to blend the line where we've clipped down and round and into our stifle again using our chunkers or your thinners go so all the way down down into the top of our hock And you want to trim that line straight down and curve it around. Just follow the natural shape of her leg just out to the top of her hock. Look out. And then blend all the way around the side of her leg. Again, always combing upwards. Round onto her stifle hair. Good girl. So when you look at her from the back, you want to make sure that that hair is laying nice and straight down towards the top of her hock and the same on the inside of her leg. So again, just take your chunkers or your thinners in there and thin that down. And you want the inside of the leg to come straight down to the top of our hock. Once we've blended in all this where we've clipped from down and into her stifle hair we're going to trim from her tuck up all the way down round her stifle and just into the top of her toes so again comb that all up we're going to just follow the shape of her leg angling it down just almost on a very slight diagonal with the top of her leg you're just going to come in and stop just about there making sure to comb out the hair on the inside of her leg and get all of that as well. Good girl. Good 
Then we're going to trim down the side of our hocks, again sticking with our chunkers all the way down to the top of our foot. And again, this should be in line with everything you've trimmed up here. So again, you can use your comb to check that it's all the same length. There we go. Just down into the top of our foot there. And then we're going to do the same on the front. So, taking our blenders down just into the top of our toe. You should be able to see a bit of a foot on the back leg. There we go. And then the same down the back of our hock. Just to the top of the back of our foot. And the same on the inside of our back leg. Around. Good girl. So that it's the same length as you've got on the outside. And you want to make sure that when she's standing, she's stood properly. You don't want to be trimming her leg with her leg under here. Otherwise, you will get an odd shape. And equally, you don't want her leg to be all the way out here. Because A, it's uncomfortable for her. And again, you'll end up with the funny looking leg. So just make sure she's stood. She should just have her, her knee should be just stood underneath the back end of her. So she's nice and comfortable. Good girl. And then we're going to trim round. So again, nice round feet at the back. We've already done underneath her feet. So we're going to comb this hair down at the back of her hock. Just lay, oh, steady. Laying your scissors against the back of her foot. Just trim upwards. Take all that hair off. And just round under her feet. Good girl. You want to come down her hock and curve round and into her foot. And again, not showing her toenails if at all possible. Always combing the hair out and towards the tips of her toenails. Make sure you lay your scissors nice and flat to the table so you can get all of that hair underneath her pads. Good girl. Good girl. And then same on the inside. Good girl. And then just down the back of our hock. I'm going to come down and just curve it round and into the back of her foot. So we're just going to comb her hair, ooh, comb her hair back up. Just check for any stray hairs where we've trimmed with the chunkers. Same up the stifle and just double check on the inside of her leg here where it leads up into her tuck up. Good girl. So we're just going to comb the hair up just on the top of her tail and just blend that down. Good girl. 
just on both sides as well and just underneath just keeps it clean and tidy good girl good girl and then for the rest of her tail um, so you're going to run your hand right down her tail you want to feel for where the end of her tail is keep your thumb over, over the very end of her tail just to protect it stand and then you're going to trim round your thumb and take all that hair off good girl and then holding the top of her tail she hates this good girl just comb the hair down either side of her tail And from where you've trimmed around the end, you're going to follow it in a flag shape all the way up just to the top of her tail. And you can do that as long or as short, depending on the owner preference. Stand. Good girl. And then same on the other side. Good girl. Good girl. And just holding it out straight. Make sure there's no hairs hanging down underneath. Go. Go. All right. And then that's just her chest to do. So we're just going to comb her chest, last little bit of her chest hair out. Most of that we will have trimmed already when we've done just along underneath her tummy. So you just, with her sat down, keep her head up and just trim it round and blend it in to her little skirt underneath. Good girl. Just make sure she's sat straight if possible. So that when she sat down, nothing sticks out. And when she stands up, good girl, stand. It should just drop down in between her legs with nothing hanging down, just in between her legs there. So that's Darcy all finished. Um, because of her soft coat, we do ask that her owners bring her in quite regularly. Uh, we'd expect to see her at least every six to eight weeks. Uh, and obviously we would expect the owner to brush her at home um, with a slicker brush and a comb. If they don't bring her in that often, then we would ask that they maybe bring her in for a maintenance bath in between where we would bath her, brush her out, just clip out any tangles, just keep her nice and mat free um, and ready for her next groom.